students arriving at the gates of colleges across the capital this morning were met by teachers on picket lines as members of Unison and the University and Colleges Union walked out in a row over pay. I do a very valuable and very important job. I teach so many students and I work very hard to improve their lives and to get them a chance of a better future and yet politicians uh, do not seem to pay attention to the work that we do. This isn't something that comes easy to somebody like me and for many of my colleagues but I want to support them as you can see over my shoulder today uh, because it's the direction it's going, it's having a real effect on how we feel about the work we can give, the support we can give to students. Every month is a struggle uh, and that's just you know, not living extravagantly, just you know trying to stay out of your overdraft and you just think, you know, does it always have to be this way? In Westminster, union leaders are coming together to stage a rally in response to what's been described as the insulting offer of a pay freeze by the Association of Colleges. Union leaders say it's a decision which wasn't taken lightly. For many, many years, our further education staff, they provide a fantastic service to students, not just young people, but we've got over 100,000 uh, students over 60 years old. We've got apprentices learning, starting life, learning their trades in FE colleges. It, uh, great institutions, and they've been absolutely starved of money over the last five years. And the effect of it has been that our staff, our members, who provide such a good service, they've had no pay increases for nearly five years years and they're now nearly 20% a fifth worse off than they were five years ago and then to be offered a desire of absolutely pathetic no percent increase this year was like the tip of the iceberg. But the AOC argues this offer comes in tough financial times. The pay recommendation of 0% made by the Association of Colleges reflects the specific financial challenges faced by our members. Colleges are facing increases to pension and national insurance contributions during 2015 and 16, and this coupled with reductions in funding mean we've been unable to recommend an unsustainable increase in costs to our college members. Members. Meanwhile, the unions are calling for the AOC to return to the negotiating table and end what they describe as the abuse of further education workers across the capital.